Hello everyone, it's your boy Mana. Today I'm going to be talking about more Leorn board, specifically how to put memes directly onto your screen. As well. Some, something a little fun. <laughs> Monica with Goku too. Oh my gosh. Did, you, did Goku just Kamehameha the Togepi out of existence? No. Much like last tutorial where we were talking about inputting sounds into your stream, uh, this one is going to be based on the premise that you already have Leorum Board installed on your PC and you already have it set up for your stream. And believe it or not, our first step actually doesn't come from Leorum Board itself, but rather inside your OBS programming here. So first thing we're actually going to do is we're going to go inside OBS and we're actually going to add in our video source that we want. We'll go here and we're going to go into a media source. And I already have a couple of them in here, but we're just going to go big enough because I have a awesome green screen of Jimmy Barnes. Let's go over here. Let's go into browse and we're actually going to go and find my Leorn board memes here. And as you can see, like I said, there was enough here. We're gonna go big enough. And then we're gonna add that. So big enough is already here. The next thing that we need to do is because we're using green screen is we're actually gonna need to add in the filters. So we need to do all the prep work beforehand because we have big enough here. It's already in green screen. So let's actually turn that one off for a second and let's go into filters. Now we have two different types of filters. You can go audio video filters or you can go effect filters. We're gonna go into the effect filters and we're gonna add in a chroma key. So we're just gonna go basic chroma key, basic green. Settings should be good enough, but you can tweak around as you see fit for whichever you need. It doesn't have to be on the green screen. It could be blue, it could be magenta, whatever you need. And so let's just go ahead that is now added in. And so when we go back into our green screen effect, as you will see, everything else, all of the green is now transparent. And we just see Jimmy Barnes is just doing his thing. Now we have all the basic prep work that we need. So first thing we're actually gonna do is we're gonna shut off your source. And I'm gonna explain why I'm gonna do. And then let's pull up Leorn board. So in Leorn board, let's make a new deck here. Let's start from scratch. So brand new deck, open up the deck, right click, let's create the button. And this is gonna be big enough. And so button is now created. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna go into add commands. This is where things get tricky and a little bit of the caveat is gonna happen. We're gonna go into plus and we're gonna go into source change of visibility. So in this case, I have our scene as a video purpose. And then we're going to go into big enough. Now, what's going to happen here is because we have big enough turned off, as you see, the eye is completely shut. We need to turn that one on and we want that to happen immediately. So there's no delay. Um, the next thing that we need to after that is we need at some point it needs to turn off. It can't stay on. So we're going to go back and we're going to do source change visibility again do everything that we were doing beforehand. So we're gonna go video purpose. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go big enough, and then we're gonna turn that into false. Now, Leorn board processes in milliseconds, mil meaning thousand in French. So for every thousand seconds is one second that transpires. And you know what, uh, typically speaking, usually five second memes is kinda good enough. It's big enough and that's usually pretty good there. So we'll go 5,000 milliseconds and then we're gonna hit done. So now that that's all done, now we need to input our triggers. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna right click and we're gonna add in Twitch triggers. So in this instance, let's go ahead and we'll just use a chat message. Uh, let's turn case sensitivity off. I usually find that's a little bit easier, especially for your chats where sometimes there'll be an all caps accidentally or no caps, but whatever your preference is. You can also set it up that you can also just have your mods use it or VIPs or your first, your broadcaster, which is us, anybody who subs, you can set it up that way. Uh, typically speaking, I like anybody who wants to use it, use it. So we're gonna go exclamation mark big enough. And that will be that for the triggers. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit done. And now that that's done, providing you have Leorum board up and the TSL transmitter set, we're gonna go in exclamation mark big enough. And that should trigger the meme. So there's a couple of interesting things I like, interesting things I like to put out. As you may or may not know, if you visited my Twitch channel, I have 
hundreds of memes that go off on a regular. Um, so having a hundred different means in each scene gets really redundant sometimes. A couple of caveats that you can do here, and there's no right or wrong, but you can do these as you see fit. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to add a group. So what group will do is you can take certain files and just add them in a group. Then you can add that group as a source later on. So let's go memes two, as I already have a memes one. And we're going to go and we're going to take the big enough scene and we're going to go and drag and drop it into the memes. So right now, as you can see, because it's in a group, it clears up quite nicely. And the interesting thing here is if we go back into Lear on board and we go into the new deck and we take a look at our commands, it's on video purpose right now, right? For the scene. This doesn't actually really matter. As long as Leorn board sees the ability to turn on big enough, it will be fine. So let's go ahead, let's hit done and done. And let's go back into our scene and just to prove a point, let's make a new scene. So let's say, yeah, you know what? Leave it as scene two, doesn't matter because I'm gonna be deleting it after. And let's go ahead and let's add the group. So we now know what the group is means two and it is now added in, big enough is there. So let's go ahead and trigger it and just do exclamation mark. I can type today, exclamation mark, big enough, and it will still trigger on a different scene. So one of the biggest benefits of putting your memes or any of your sources into a group is very simply when you go into it it doesn't matter when you're talking about like small stuff like this but after a while you're gonna have so many sources and so many inputs that it's just gonna be clustered and so having it in a group you can literally just open the group close the group and still have everything within inside now i'm going to explain one more little caveat that you can do and that's actually putting all your memes into a scene and very interestingly enough, inside OBS, you can put a scene inside a scene. And that makes things interesting. So we're actually gonna go into my meme scene here, just to give you an idea. And we have multiple, multiple things going on here. So in this case, what we can actually do is we can turn around, we can add our group. So we're gonna go memes too. And it is now inside here. So we're just gonna do one quick test. So big enough. And that will trigger inside our meme scene. Now, the interesting thing about this, and unfortunately the downfall is the scene itself can only be modified inside that scene. However, because you can add a scene to a scene, it cleans things up very nicely. So let's go into our Be Right Back screen where I have this very same meme scene here. And if I do exclamation mark big enough, it triggers. It's already there. There was no work that, no additional work that needed to be done. If you have your own meme scene, you add the memes, you do all the work inside OBS. And as long as that scene is inside anywhere that you need it, it will trigger automatically. There is one more thing I would like to point out whenever you're adding in these memes, um, and that is audio. You really want to make sure you're not blowing out your viewers eardrums so first and foremost let's go back into the original portion where we had put big enough actually it doesn't matter because wherever you have that group now it will automatically modify it for you so first and foremost the moment we turn it on you can see there's already an audio source here we're actually just going to pop that one down because depending on how you like this you want to see your audio just kind of be slightly above your meme scene but you want to be able to still hear it and as I said before, we have this one. We're going to go back. We're going to shut it off because our five seconds is that is probably closer to 10. We only have it on for five seconds and then it shuts off. Um, but like I said, the very important thing here is when we turn it back on, the audio is now saved at wherever it needs to be saved at. In this case, I feel like that's a comfortable balance. Uh, so you don't one blow your viewers eardrums and two, it still has a nice smooth when you're doing your stream. So when you go back here, that's fine. We'll go back into scene two, just to prove a point. Scene two, 
it's there it's right out where it's supposed to be let's go into our meme scene here turn that one on once again still where we need it and so anywhere especially when we were talking about it, let's go back to our be right back screen if i do exclamation mark big enough the interesting thing is if somebody is mentioning that hey this is happening it's a little bit too loud you mind turning it down a little bit you can just go into here and you'll see that big enough is here as well and you can modify it from this section that modification will carry over to all of your other areas that that meme is currently in but as you notice when it turns off it disappears so this brings the point of whether to have your memes in a individual in a group or in a scene um, it brings up the caveat that yes you can still modify things on fly if it's in a group or individually you can modify them there on just a regular visual basis if it's in a scene unless you go back to that scene and say you're live and you try doing your modifications your viewers are just literally going to see a black screen and then whatever um, thing that you're turning on in this case big enough so let's go back into here because what you're seeing now is what what everybody would be seeing on a, a live stream so if you gotta go back and you gotta do your modifications you gotta go back into here then you have to actually turn on big enough and <laughs> this is what your viewers are seeing they're no longer seeing your camera because it's not there uh and they're no longer seeing what the be right back should be and this is the issue when you're uh, putting them into a scene instead of a group however if you have like me hundreds of these memes you might see the appeal of just like accidentally instead of pressing the memes and having a big drop down list of over 200 things and now try to find the top of that list you might prefer just having it in one scene if you enjoyed today's video feel free to hit the like button and subscribe um, yeah, and if you do have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments um, and I can try to get back to you as quickly as I can. But that was pretty much it. Very simply explained how to add in memes into your streams. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a good day.